Welcome back to part three. We're now ready to start configuring the network. So what you need to do first is go and get the public and private IP addresses for our that were assigned by Softlayer to our core OS on Softlayer machine. Um, what the best way to find this is to go into the customer portal and obviously we know the public and private IP address but what we really need are the default gateways and the uh, subnet masks that are in use. So if you scroll down a little bit all that information is here. ETH1 and ETH0 and then what I like to do is record that information into our um, little notepad here. So public is on uh, ETH1, ETH1, and it's uh, 159.189.8.189.125, yeah, and there's the default gateway, lovely, and then the private is going to be on ETH0. So, perfect. I've saved that information, so we're now ready to use that to start configuring our CoreOS server's IP addresses. Okay, so let's get the network done on our new core OS on software server that's been booted from CD-ROM. Um, one of the questions really then revolves around, well, where do I get all the network information? So you can clearly see here from going into the device details that we've got the IP uh, public and private, but where do you get the information necessary to set up or to IF config um, or set up static uh, address files so that system um, controller can actually set up the IP addresses and for that you're going to need the masks and you're going to need the default gateway so where do you get that information well just down here so if you scroll down to network you can see that we have ETH1 and ETH0 and there's all the information we're going to need so what I usually do is I copy that into again my text editor here and make sure to convert the, uh, well for CoreOS anyway, convert the um, mask into its short form or shortcut format. So count the bits basically. Um, so I've taken all that information in, I'm gonna store that down here just below, so I've got it on the screen. And then I'm gonna go and get my newly booted CoreOS um, server. And as we can see, we can have a look at the IPs, and there's nothing there at all at the moment. So we're, we're going to want to uh, set that up. I'm just going to clear away a few of my windows here. So the first one, first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to the system, uh, the etc. Whoops, yeah, if I could spell today, I've got typeitis today. Uh, system D network directory. Oops. As I said, I've got type ISIS. That's a new Unix directory, ETYC, yes. Um, there should be nothing in there, and indeed there's nothing, so I'm gonna call the first file um, 10 minus static dot network. Yep, that's fine. And in here, we're gonna set up a match and the match is going to be on the name. Oh, I should have pointed out when we looked at the IPA. In fact, let's do it now. Let's do a. Uh, let's just quit that and do an IPA again. The actual Ethernets are EN1 and e, uh, EN01 and EN02. So that's what we're going to set the match up on. Let me just check where I am there. Lovely. By 10 minus static dot network. So our match is going to be on name EN01. Then the network is going to be on address equals. Um, this is going to be our private IP address. That's going to be on 10.113. Oops, one one three dot thirty eight dot one seven two, and then we need the short form format of the net mask, which is going to be twenty six bits. So that's fine. Then we're going to set up a route for this, and the route is via gateway. 
and that's 10.113.38.129 and you can see that in this file here so EN01 so we've got 10.113.38.172 with this net mask which is a 26 bit net mask and then the gateway is that and as you can see there's our default gateway so that's fine what we're then going to need is the destination and the destination via this route is to the 10.0.0.0 network and it's a class A so it's 8 so that's fine I've just gone and typed destination into my other file, so I'm just getting rid of that. Um, good, so that's the first one set up. Can't open file for writing. Ah, I've made the uh, the error of not, uh, yes indeed, I VI'd the file. Oh, and I've got the wrong file as well. You got to sudo to edit the file, right? So match name en one. Not bad for you to see it again, actually. Uh, network address equals ten one three dot thirty eight dot one two slash twenty six um, root. And the gateway is 10.113.38.129 and the destination is 10.0.0.0.8. Right, hopefully, sorry about that, hopefully this time we can write that file. So we got our Ethernet port, the address it's going to have and a route to its default gateway. That's fine. Good, it's written it this time, and we should see the file in there. Now we're going to VI the other one. Um, oops, I've done it again. Sudo to VI 20 static network. I keep imagining I'm in as root uh, where I'm not. So this time we're going to match. And the name this time will be that ENO2. Our network address is going to be, whoops, if I bring this, if I bring this up again, our network address this time is going to be 159.8.189. Dot one two five and our mask is twenty eight. Excellent. Um, our gateway this time is going to be one five nine dot eight dot one eight nine dot one one three. That's good. Now on this one we're going to need some DNS resolvers. So our DNS is going to be ten dot zero. Uh, dot eighty dot uh, eleven and uh, ten dot our secondary one zero dot eighty dot twelve. Um, those are the software um, uh, domain name resolvers. Um, so hopefully that's that all done. Excellent. Right now we can restart networking. So again, if we do an IPA. We've got no IP addresses on EN1 or EN2, but we know they're there because at least they've got a carrier. So they're ready to rock and roll. Um, let's do a sudo uh, system uh, ctl restart network, um, no, restart uh, system D minus network D. To do system VPN, yeah, that should do it. Whoops, with a space. 
IPA. Yep, we have IP addresses, 159. Excellent. Now let's ping um, google.com just to check. There we are, 64 bytes. Lovely. So, DNS is working. IP addresses are working. So we now have a network on this machine. So what we need to do now, once we've got our network working, which we have, is to generate our secure shell pairs and to get over our files in order to install CoreOS. Join me in a second. So of course, very quickly now, now we have a network, we can go into our um, machine across the network from software. So we're gonna go back to our staging server now. I was going in on the public IP address. Um, in fact, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, what the hell. Um, let's just start that up and get back into our Microsoft machine. There we go. So what we're gonna need is uh, the reason for this. Whoops, let's put that out of the way. We don't need that anymore. Here is our Windows machine. We're going to need uh, Putty and Putty Gen. So I'm going to install those now on this machine. 